Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this live showdown here in Company of Heroes 3. We're going to be playing the Americans once again, and we are going to be moving and moving and moving. So let's go ahead and switch it up and play the Armored Battle Group today, which I don't normally do, but we're going to give it a try, and uh, we will build a Engineer. Engineers, of course, with the Armored Battle Group, you can upgrade them to be uh, uh, Combat Engineers, so they have a little bit better stats, they get an extra Trooper, and I think they also, I don't know if it improves their damage output, but... You want to make sure to get that upgrade before you uh, before you, you know, get your engineers out so they come with that extra man. So rifles, of course, still important. Even if you're not going for, like, uh, you know, infantry-based build, they're going to be controlling the battlefield for you. And we, of course, will be trying to get machine guns out into the middle of the map. So, yeah, usually what happens on this map is you see people... Um, yeah, so he'll be ready in a second. See people um, really rush for that, that, uh, that machine gun position. Yeah, so you can go here because we need to get these points to kind of connect the pieces. And uh, yeah, should be good. So we're gonna get some vehicles out. We're gonna be trying to do like a swarm of tanks, but you know, in order to do that, we have to have map control, right? We can't just be getting karate chopped and losing, but I would wager he's gonna take that. So we'll get an early mortar to try and counteract that. And uh, we'll see if we can secure it with our rifles. If he's there, you know, we'll just run, but um, we'll, we'll at least test the waters and, and feel it out here, so. All right, looks good. We've captured that territory. Let's move up, taking some forward ground. I wonder if it's better to take like forward ground and then fall back and capture the things like closer and safer to your base here. But anyways, we'll get a second rifle out soon. And uh, okay, looks like he's up here. We do have the combat engineers, so our engineers. Um, I think getting flamethrowers early would be prudent, maybe? I don't know about like rushing them, but you know, I, I feel like they could be quite good. All right, let's go for the middle, screw it. And uh, yeah, he's coming here with his engineers and it looks like our engineers have done it. So let's get ours here and move you guys there. And yeah, he's not in the building right now, so we should be able to just kind of get a claw on this. So then we go mortars after this, I think, to... It depends on what he gets. If he gets, like, a machine gun to the building, although, man, maybe machine gun is best. Maybe machine gun is best. All right, so our engineer's chilling out. We're having a little bit of a stare down here, which is always fun. And it uh, looks like he's here, so let's uh, get back, get into cover. Uh, cover's obviously, you know, important as I am slowly learning. We'll get some rifles down this way. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's just play the top mostly. We can just play the top and then use our scouts to kind of trundle in the bottom of the map. Okay, let's see if he's still there. I really like just using like the single scout unit to go just grab random stuff. So weapon support center. Um, let's get the medical tent first. In case we start taking some heavy damage, uh, we want to be able to heal the boys up. I feel like it's pretty important to get. But again, if you guys are veterans. So yeah, he's in the building as expected. You know, that's, that's like very, very meta on this map. <laughs> I played quite a few games on this map and it's pretty much what happens every single time. So... We'll keep advancing up. Engineers doing their thing, but we'll just get the flamethrower and then we'll push them out. Should be good. All right. So let's just kind of keep swamping this way. Go here and get you guys here. And the other rifle unit. Oh, these are our scouts. Where is our rifle boys? Yeah, they can they can just kind of keep eyeing the middle and making sure he doesn't jump there. Because he probably will try it. Yeah, our engineers should win. They're combat engineers and his aren't. So you can see he immediately retreats. He, he doesn't want any piece of that. All right. So let's get the weapon support center. You can just double click it usually, I think. Yeah, and it, it'll auto place it. So if you guys are like wondering about placement issues and all that, you can just do that. All right, so do we have enough for any upgrades? We don't. And uh, we do take control of the top side of the map. He's basically taking the bottom. Our boys have a pretty nice little position. We can get them here behind these boxes. And if he does try and advance on us, we should be able to shut him down. All right, so decapping is back point. Scouts just trolling about and uh, we could get a sniper. We could get all sorts of stuff. But yeah, this is a, a decent spot for us. Let's run back here, get a little bit of cover. And we, we just want to decap this. And when we decap it, we can we can get back. All right, very good, very good. We got rifle support here, so let's move them along the walls. And now let's get a machine gun of our own. The machine gun teams are just so nice. And we'll just secure the ammo. We got a nice double cap. Not like super entrenched here in the middle, but let's just run you guys back and heal. Maybe a little bit like preemptive. So I, sometimes I feel like I run back too quickly, but it is what it is. All right, so engineers versus pathfinders. I honestly don't know who wins this. Um, hopefully my guys do. We'll find out. Uh, maybe not a bad idea to get like a jeep or something, right? All right, so let's flank up here and uh, have our combat engineers upgrade the flamethrower and come down and uh, start doing battle. So let's move them up, move them up, do a bit of a sandwich there. And it looks like my Pathfinders won. Oh, that's great. Great news. Today I learned. All right, so moving, moving, moving you guys into cover, moving you guys into cover here. Swarm them down. Machine guns. Let's get them in the building here. And good. So we force those guys back. And now we have a flamethrower too. So do we deny the cap? Doesn't quite look like it. All right. So we can kind of like get in the ruins there. And let's get the other ammunition point. And cool. Rifles move back out. It's He's going to be tough to uproot from that building there. Like really, really tough. I think if we're there, we should just be just out of range. 
Okay, so engineers with the flamethrowers can um, can honestly just kind of sit here and camp. They can pop out and do some really solid damage. Oh my god, get in there. Oh boy, that's not good. Hopefully he doesn't notice. Come on, machine guns. I should have just had them shoot. Um, that was a mistake. Okay, let's get them in the building, because he won't be able to do anything about that, especially since he just used his grenade. And we did maneuver well there. Okay, well, we, we salvaged a bad situation. So let's get him out. Get here. Get here. These pathfinders can just kind of chill and cover and just kind of guard those two munition points on the bottom. And uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, recovery vehicle. Yeah, I don't know. No, I think we're going to go for the field repairs. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get a, you know, I just can't help myself. I, I really want to practice with the snipers. They're, they're so, they seem so useful, but um, very micro intensive, of course. All right, so don't know where he's going to push. All's, all's quiet right now. We got a sniper coming out. Let's go for the, um, let's go for the mechanized support center. Let's give it a try. It's not one I, I try too often. So we're going to push up here, see if we can grab this. Uh, these guys are here. We have a utility package, which we can upgrade them with, but I don't think we need to. And the sniper should be pretty good, but we do need to get some anti-armor out soon. So we'll, we'll, we'll try and do that, like a bazooka squad or something. I would imagine he's going to have some light armor. Um, speaking of, we should get grenades, because the sticky grenades are pretty good against light armor. Yeah, his damn machine gun, but this is where a sniper is good, because we can try and knock him off that point. All right, so I don't think he's doing much down here. Maybe we can do a little something something. Our machine gun team, not in the most useful position. We should have had it covering here. That was a pretty bronzodium mistake to, to not do that. So let's pull back. Sniper's coming out. He's like ice skating around, which is pretty fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to get that point, which is nice. Is he pushing up here? Oh, it looks like he is. Wow. Okay, let's get in the buildings. And you guys get to cover. Perfect time for the sniper. He's, he's going to have a field day on these guys. On the bottom, a little bit of ninja action going. And uh, cool. So we got the support center coming out. Yeah, honestly, yeah, the sniper is going to start popping them pretty good as long as we don't run into range. Okay, got to run, got to run, got to run. Machine gun, keep going. Looks like we got some dudes here. Let's throw a grenade down there and uh, just rip some shots. So I think that was a potentially a good preemptive grenade. Sniper able to rip some shots too. And uh, overall, let's retreat and retreat. Cool, we got the bottom point being taken. And can we get the armored goodness yet? Okay. So, okay, yeah, the weapon support center. That's right, we can get some of these guys. So let's get the uh, motor carriage. Yeah, like, like uh, you know what? We can save up for something of a little bit better quality. Let's go grab that. Um, these infantry need to go retreat. These guys are pretty healthy. We have the engineers hanging out and uh, I almost want to get like some mortars just to like pound them out of that building. The Brownings are good considering how many rifles we have. Maybe let's get the rifle upgrades, huh? All right, so sniper, it's going to take them too long. So let's just kind of keep them back here. Secret and safe, and we are going to ninja the bottom point, actually. So let's go get the machine guns down there now and just park them, like, right here. That's going to be, like, a money spot. It's really hard to flank, and, uh, yeah, could be quite strong. All right, so let's get the sniper looping down here. I feel like the top were adequately kind of secured. And uh, where is he going to go next, though, is the question. We kind of got a decent little defensive position here. So, yeah, I think we're okay. Cool. So you guys have gotten the point. And looks good. Machine guns, we're just kind of buying a little bit of time. Let's get you guys back like this. And damn, he's going to get there before my snipers can get down and, and support. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Come on, boys. Machine rifles, let's move down there as well. Let's get the browning upgrades. And that will make us much better fighters. And let's get this. Hopefully the machine gun team can uh, do some work. We got suppression. We got sniper support fire. You can see they're getting picked off pretty hard. Yeah, but he's got too many guys. We're going to have to run. All right, so the Brownings are on the way. How are we looking here? Pretty pretty well defended, I would say. Do a little bit of scooting and shooting with the snipers. Okay, picking off models. The MLG plays. Yeah, this is this is scary. This is definitely scary. Sniper, no, 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 don't get so close. What are you doing? Come on, pick off another model. We got that guy, looks good. And now he's gonna switch to the sniper. Okay, looks like we forced a bit of a full retreat and he didn't get the point. Okay, so the sniper with the MLG plays. So scout recon squad, do that. And can we get the motor pool yet? We can. So this is where it's going to kind of switch things up a little bit. All right, so let's get back behind cover here. He's got some engineers of his own. Uh, we need to go ahead and get the, uh, where is it? So we want the vehicle repairs, which is going to be pretty good. And yeah, our flamethrower should just wreck him here pretty hard. Yeah, see, he immediately runs. He's like, screw the shit, I'm going home. All right, so let's get the sniper down there. Machine gun team. I prefer this angle down here to trying to uproot him out of the middle, um, considering. But once we get like some armor out, we should, shouldn't have a problem with that. All right, so the motor pool's on the way. We'll get some chaffy light tanks, and uh, hopefully those will give us the uh, the ground that we, we so seek. All right, so we'll get some landmines there. 
Scouts are chilling. Snipers are just so, so useful. We got rifles coming, and do all of our rifles have the upgrades? These guys don't. All right. Cool. So, yeah, he's fleeing back. So once we get the machine guns down here, we can we can play the game. So what is he going to bring next? I don't have any bazookas, but we will have chaffy tanks. And with, like, grenade support, they should fight pretty well. All right. So we'll do a bit of a slow push. We're not in a rush, right? We got we to gotta play it smart. Got some landmines up there on the objective that he's inevitably going to go for. And uh, we could get a Greyhound armored car. Yeah, I feel like I want something that can deal, like, actually fight armor as well. Okay, so these are Grenadier squads. Let's pick another one off. Oh, so such value. All right, let's get you guys here and send the scouts up to capture this. Looks like our dudes are in trouble. Oh, my God, I didn't notice, but he ran right over those grenades. Jeez, those landmines, excuse me. All right, as long as he doesn't get the back point, it's okay. You guys are pinned down. Let's uh, throw some grenades and force them back. Sniper's just kind of just mowing them down here, so this is really cost-effective for us. Yeah, a mass route. That's that's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah, that's really good. All right, Sniper's here. Let's get the light tank out. Chaffy light tank. Because I suspect he's going to have some armor of his own soon. Although he does have a lot of infantry. Like, a hell of a lot of infantry. And uh, we might want another machine gun team on the top. So let's uh, go ahead and get a machine gun team. And have them um, go support there when they can. So how are we looking? We're getting mortared, it looks like. We could take our, our sniper, but um, we just need to get it, and then we can retreat away. Okay. And the machine gun team, a little bit obvious, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I need something to get that guy down. Okay, so what do we have here? I should should have moved on to the point quicker, because he's going to capture that now, which is unfortunate. Let's send the engineer back up top. And, uh, well, at least he won't get the point. We have the browning upgrade, so our guys are actually pretty, pretty strong in uh, combat there. Let's go see if he's still in the building in the middle. So we're going to send this tank up and uh, barrage this building. And hopefully the armor will do the trick. So yeah, we got this point coming back here. Might even finish this guy off. We'll see. He's running, but... Yep. Nice. Squad is wiped out. Machine gun team. Let's get them set up like so. Yeah, it's going to be quite nice. And we got the machine gun. We got these guys buffering. We have a sniper there. If he decides to push it. And uh, is he in that building? Because we might be able to actually force a triple cap right now, believe it or not. Let's get an armored car too. Okay, so he is in that building, so we can start just shelling that shit down. I believe we can snipe it too. We can like move up here and start sniping the guys in the building. Something I have not been doing uh, nearly enough. Send the engineers up. Let's get the sniper to blast into the building. And I think we hopefully have enough down here. Let's send these scouts. The scouts are useful too. They have a little bit of firepower, so they can do that. All right, so we're gonna start sniping into the building. Yep, there we go. So, yeah, you can see his machine gun team in the middle is definitely having some problems. These guys are being hammered here. And, yeah, we retreat. Sniper. Ooh, retreat. I don't want to lose the sniper. Oh, no, don't run that way. Why would you do that? Oh, the pathing. I, I would be so sad if I lost him. He's He's been an absolute beast this game. He's been holding back quite a bit of pressure. All right, so machine guns, we need to move them up to the top because I think he's going to be coming from the south. Let's get you guys here. And uh, this is looking good, so let's position you like so. And cool, so we have our other light vehicle coming out soon. Outstanding. So the Greyhound armored car, let's just kind of keep it here and react to any of his mo uh, positioning and moving. These guys, uh, we have a lot of extra. So let's do some landmines there. Hold on to the two points. And uh, we could get probably another Chaffee light tank will be fine. All right, so yeah, we need to run now. Uh, it's a lot of dudes. So let's get our armored vehicle and go around the top. So we'll go up there. And uh, you, buddy, can keep shelling this building. And I, I, I doubt he's in there. The sniper was... The sniper's still alive, right? Okay. Send the sniper up. Get the armored vehicle coming. All right, moving in. I don't know if he has any, like, sort of bazooka. Okay, yeah. He does have um, he does have some sort of a vehicle there. So I didn't get a chance to see what it is, but let's just um, get our tank back to be safe. Bottom is pretty secure. But we have this nice armored vehicle here now. Let's get grenades and then just run. Machine gun positioning was good that time. Oh, hello. Okay, homeboy does have some rockets. Okay, let's see if we can like loop away. Time Tokyo drift. Uh, run to the corner. Those machine guns doing the, the work of the gods. Let's see if we could finish that squad off there. Let's get the Chaffee light tank up here. Oh, another one bites the dust. I think we just wiped a squad too. Holy shit, it's still alive. Oh, not for long. Okay. Okay. So machine gun is covering the point. Chaffee light tank is here. We need to get some upgrades on the boys. So sprint is really nice. Um, sprint lets them get around. Uh, med kit, so we can provide med kits to the uh, different squads. 
and I think we got most of the upgrades here. Light it up. Um, fires longer, sustained burst with the flamethrowers. Okay, great. Let's get you guys here. We have the double light tank, so if he has any like big armor of his own, we should be able to 2v1 it with the, the haggard tank swarm, and we're getting the tech that's going to make them uh, cheaper. So they cost less manpower to build, so we can... You know, let's let's try the dreaded triple tank. Although, that I feel like that's going too heavily into armor, but I have a ton of anti-infantry already, so... Yeah, and that'll make my vehicles produce faster also. All right, so we're going real he heavy metal into those guys. Let's go grab the middle um, and get some upgrades here in a minute. Yeah, we don't need that right now. Seems like we're in okay shape. I could regret it, but, you know, I wanted to do, like, an American armor kind of game, so that's what we're doing, so... Let's get Sprint and go see if we can uh, see if he's still in that building. You guys get to cover. See if you can flamethrower them a little bit. All right, come on, give him the biz. There they go. All right. What is he shooting me with here? Okay, so yeah. See, he's got he's got his own beast. All right, so let's um let's just hit this bad boy hard. Okay, so we're gonna come down here and get our third tank and try and uh, try and get him here. All right. So where is he at? He's he obviously has bazookas. Okay, uh, uh, he's gonna get wrecked. Oh yeah, that's gonna be money. Unleash the American Zerg tanks! Okay, let's finish him. If we shut this guy down, that's gonna be brutal. Nice, nice. Retreat, retreat, because there's bazookas, obviously. And let's get our engineer to come repair this guy. I don't know why he's not backing up. So we're gonna lose one tank, and uh, our sniper got a little bit crazy there. He got a, he got a little excitable. Okay, and down here, unfortunately, we uh, he still is in that building. So let's take our two tanks and go down there and knock him out. And this one can just get repaired in the shadows while we um, continue dropping fat sniper rounds on the other one. Increases the armor of Greyhounds, Chaffees. Ooh, I like that. Cool. So we have a bunch of those. Let's just sweep down here now and see what we can do. This tank's going to get repaired, and the snipers will hopefully um, keep putting firepower on them. Okay, so the machine guns are pressing. Let's get you in cover. And do we have any sort of infantry support up there? We don't. It's pretty rough. We could we could straight up lose this position. It probably will. All right. But yeah, let's uh, let's punish him in this building. Take him out, and then we can resecure the middle from the other side. Okay. Let's uh, run. Looks like everybody's alive, which is good. And he's gonna get just blasted out of this building, and he'll lose the squad actually um, when they kill that. Yeah. All right. Cool. So he lost that unit, and now we can just kind of play from the other side. He's going heavy infantry, so we're just going to get some more machine gun teams, honestly, I think. All right, riflemen are healing up. Let's get them down here. Um, the top is a little bit messy. Let's keep running with the sniper. We are very co co comfortable down here. Should have been doing uh, been more active with those guys. So let's get um, Seek and Destroy. That lets me see enemy armor from basically uh, Invisible, which is really nice. Okay, machine gun team. Let's uh, secure here. Let's back up this way. We got you guys chilling here, and we can kind of move up and take a little bit of ground. And he's got those mortars. Yeah, he's got some mortar teams back here. We can. He does have bazookas, so I got to be really careful about that. I'm pretty sure he's got like a, a goon squad of bazookas. All right. So what do we want to get? Do we want to get some uh, some more upgrades? Yes. Globally increases the speed of vehicles. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Okay. So we're taking over the bottom, but he does have a nice little two cap on us right now. Let's move the sniper down here and uh, get our, our tanks and get ready to party. All right, so machine guns, let's do that. And we can provide a little bit of support. Looks like those guys will get wrecked when the machine guns eventually learn how to set up. We got a big tank fire. And uh, let's go ahead and go, do we want to go to the maximum tier? Or do we want to get um, mortars or something? I feel like more machine guns here will be really nice based on the amount of infantry he has. All right, so we did a little bit of forward pressure. Let's go back here and seal this. Chaffee tanks are just hanging out, and uh, let's see if we can get the middle now. Let's send our assault engineers up. All right, so Seek and Destroy. I believe one of our guys has it, so let's pop that. Does he have any armor? Okay, it's not revealing any armor on the map, so um, we're not seeing it right now. Let's spread out a little bit. Need to stop bunching up so much. It's an easy habit to get into, but definitely need to fix that. All right, so we're going to make our way for the middle and move our tanks up now. And the mortars are still very much there. Okay, let's uh, do a grenade because I'm pretty sure that's where he's going. Let's get back. And how are the machine guns doing? Snipers. Uh, let's get up and support. Yeah, we probably went too heavy into the armor, which is which is unfortunate. But, you know, I, I just got excited, guys. I'm sorry. You know, big cool tanks. What's not to love? Okay, so let's uh, square up. Snipers, put some firepower into them. 
We could go top as well. Looks like we're stealing the bottom. Let's run. That sniper is like triple, triple uh, Dark Master here. All right, let's get the tanks down on the bottom. See if we can like flank them a little bit and pull you guys up to flank as well. Okay, machine guns should be out soon. Let's go ahead and grab that point and uh, get our tanks to provide some support against these guys. All right, so did we get the middle? We did. All right, so let's get some mines there, like right now. And uh, we can go ahead and do the Seek and Destroy, which will increase our rate of fire and make us um, a little bit stronger. And we can get the motor pool now for the uh, late game tanks. Okay, let's push him back. Let's get the armor push. Let's go. Let's go. We got Seek and Destroy active, so let's uh, sweep up on his positions. Okay, looks like a, a big route for him. A big, big route. Nice, nice, excellent. In the meantime, you guys creep up here. Yeah, the tank pressure works well. We were cautious, and uh, at the end of the day, it got the job done, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get you guys up. Reverse the tanks. Make this an unholy minefield, because we have a lot of surplus ammo, so let's just do that. It's going to take a while, but hopefully we'll be able to get it. Get you in position here, and get these uh, rifles to go grab the point. And we have the big tank depot coming out, too. All right. Scouts, yeah, go try and ninja his fuel so we can see where he's at. Um, let's go ahead and get Seek and Destroy. I really like being able to kind of scout and see where his tanks are. Okay, so I don't think he has any tanks. Yeah, we see his his all his boys coming out this way. All right, so do we have a machine gun? We will soon, but he's got all those bazookas. Let's run. If he tries to play the bottom, we probably will be able to hammer down on him. I'm not sure. What does he got here? Has he got any sort of shooting? Doesn't look like it. All right, machine gun team. Let's come here. We're going to need some more support because it looks like he's coming from that way. That is a hell of a lot of infantry, dude. A hell of a lot of infantry. I almost want to just, like, attack his base or something. Okay, let's run. Kind of keep the tank battalion waiting and seeing where he's going to strike. And uh, do we finish it? Okay, it's almost up. We should be able to get a big tank, like, right away or something. Nope, not quite. Okay. Okay, so machine guns. Let's set them up like so. And it looks like we were able to get that. Let's get the ammunition here. Keep you guys coming down this way. Yeah, and the machine guns are doing some work. All right, let's just do some poking and prodding. So we can just kind of move up and poke, put a little bit of DAC into those bad boys. Nice, nice. Now we retreat back. Okay, you got to back up. There you go. Looking okay. Machine guns are at the ready. And he is getting the top point, so we need to go shut that shit down now. And can we get a big Chungus tank? Not quite yet. Okay, so we don't have enough for the... Uh, redu there, one of the really crazy upgrades reduces the population of your tank. So you just have, like, a, a big army. It's, it's like a huge army of metal. Okay, grenade to try and get the kill. Or we just move up. Whatever. It's probably fine. And these guys are uh, two-star veterans. Let's retreat. He's on the point, but we got landmines there, so it's not going to go well for him. And let's uh, maneuver around here. The bottom is pretty covered. You guys move up to the middle. And now it is time for the Shermanator. We'll do a big seek and destroy push with um, the Shermanator when it comes out. We'll give you guys like the, the glory that you're here for. Which hopefully will just crush him. It, it may or may not. But um, we'll certainly give it a try. Alright, we need to move. He zeroed in on our position. Let's fan out, fan out, fan out. Could do a bit of a flank, but um, he's not going armor himself, which is really interesting to see. Usually um, usually there would be some sort of a big tank or something. All right, back up, back up. And let's get the machine guns going, machine guns going. You guys get in cover here. And do we have any engineers? We do at the moment, so let's get up and heal our one injured tank, which is right here. Yeah, so now we got the machine gun positions, which are just really, really giving his infantry a super hard time. All right, so we might need to just go for the rush here. Yeah, okay, let's go for the rush. He's not hes not ready for this. All right, boys, let's go. Seek and destroy! Seek and destroy! <laughs> go, the American armor! Come on, baby! Yeah, now we just chase him back to the Shadow Realm, and we uh, machine gun these guys off. Just pick off as many as we can here. Okay, let's retreat this injured one back. Do a little bit of Haggard Tank Micro. And uh, have we been able to get him off there? Let's get these rifles down here to go get this point. All right. So he's got his mortar team down there. Let's go head him off. And the Shermanator is here, baby. The Shermanator is here. All right. We're going to take the injured tank away and go head off his, uh, his teams here. Looks good. Let's go get the fuel node up in the top. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Do we have any one that needs to do um, cover training? Nice. All right, so the Shermanator is ready. So let's have you guys grab this. 
Actually, you guys can grab it and uh, cover and uh, let's cover. Those machine gun teams have been really shutting down his infantry rushes. Like super hard. We don't have enough for the uh, the big one yet. Okay, so where are our engineers? They need to go repair this tank. Let's pull this tank up here. Pull back and at that point he's been captured. So yeah, okay. Looks like he's, he's trying a little something something. He's trying a big blitz here. All right, it's time for the Shermanator to shine. Okay. So yeah, these guys are, it's gonna get ugly quick. It's okay. Let's run. Get our tank support coming down and the Sherman is on its way. That thing is gonna be pretty brutal, I think. Does he have any upgrades for it? We do, but we don't have those at the moment. All right, let's back up. Let's back up. Sherman and focus the bazookas, focus the bazookas. Machine guns, focus the bazookas as well. And yeah, it's, I don't know how well the Shermanator's doing. Let's do Seek and Destroy. Try and get those buffs if we can, but we need to take focus down the bazookas if we, if possible. Okay, let's get a grenade on them if we can. Move some machine guns down here to support. And the Sherman tank, I think, can run things over. So yeah, that's what the dozer is for. Oh, let's go. Oh, I don't know if that actually did damage, but it looks it looks pretty cool. All right, so this tank's fully repaired. Let's get it down here. Get these engineers to go grab the middle point and then landmine it. And uh, our machine gun team is currently pinned, but. Yeah, the Shermanator did pretty good. We did lose our other tank, but hopefully we can just get... Do we want to get a tank destroyer or another one of these? Yeah, and we got our other tank flanking in here. Really weird, weird seeing um, like an infantry build from uh, Germany. Usually it's usually it's just always like tanks in the late game, but yeah, it's, it's definitely made for a very different fight. No, hello. What the hell is this? Okay. Oh, that's a bazooka team. Okay. Yeah, lovely. Can we just... Can we actually kill these guys, please? Is this possible? Thank you. All right, let's get up on the point. Probably gonna kill that other tank, unfortunately. The potato positioning on my part. Um, let's do a Sherman medium tank too. He's probably very happy with himself getting that, that last minute kill there. All right, did we capture that? We did, so let's get you back. And uh, is the top point being protected? Not really. So we'll send some guys up there to do it and we'll continue landmining this to uh, really nullify any sort of pressure on that. And yeah, the machine guns are here. Set them up. How's the top point looking? Yeah, he's got that one. Okay, so let's just say screw the top a little bit right now. We can get um, some of you guys to go capture this and engineers. We got the mine, but let's go repair this tank. It's still alive, actually. I totally thought that thing was dead. Okay, now we can reduce the population of our tank. So we can just get like a huge army, which is pretty awesome. Um, so in the meantime, I think I lost my sniper earlier. So let's get a sniper. And uh, what's going to be really useful for us? Mortar teams won't be bad. All right, face the correct direction, lads. And we have an MG team we can get in that building here. I think that would be helpful. And you guys, for some reason, we don't have that. Did he decap that for me when I wasn't watching? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. We got to be careful. So, set up. Let's get the Shermanator moving. Putting a little bit of DAC into them. Move the uh, medium tanks here. Let's run. Okay. Move the rifles up. And, yeah, we got some hard, hard fighting going on here, guys. Yeah, the machine guns, unfortunately, were kind of slightly out of position. Oh, that Sherman tank, though, just did so much damage. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's taken those bazookas like champs. Oh, my God, that thing thumps. Oh, my goodness. All right, we need to take, like, an armored division up here and go grab that. Yeah, these Sherman tanks are no joke, man. I gotta, I gotta mess with these more. Okay, so we grab that, which is good. Let's reposition you, and then you machine guns can come set up in the middle. And we're gonna have a light tank here, which won't do too much, but should be helpful. All right. So he's got some big airstrikes coming in. We need to piece the hell out of here. I've seen this. I've seen. I've seen that happen to me enough. All right, let's go down this way. And uh, machine guns move this way. Okay. Looking good. Do we have enough ammo to do some fun land mining? It looks like we do. Machine guns are heading there. We got a sniper as well. The sniper can uh, just hang out back here, and hopefully he can still reach the point there. But yeah, you see that like strafing run there? That's that's not what we want. That is nasty, nasty. All right, we'll set up the mortars back here. Keep the tanks, like, on the periphery. And we can get another Shermanator. If we have any more uh, dudes to repair with, we do. All right, let's grab it. And uh, you can come down here and then do some repairs. All right, how are we looking? Yeah, riflemen, a little bit beat up, but they can be the vanguard against the uh, against the pressure. Let's spread, it, spread out our tanks so we're not, like, blobbed together like a potato. And set up here. Okay. How are we looking? Yeah, we got good coverage on the objectives. Does the sniper have range? He does. Okay, great. So sniper's there. Let's move our tanks up. 
And he's going to start getting some nice picks as well. You can see them taking big casualties. If he goes down here, machine guns and mortars and rifles are waiting. So that feels pretty good. And did he get the objective? It looks like uh, he did decap it. So we're going to have to move up with uh, definitely not our sniper. <laughs> definitely not the sniper. That would be the potato play. Yeah, you can get like a big old army with the Americans. 100%. Okay, his bazookas are coming to flank me. Um, we have some flamethrowers that can do a little something something. Bazookas won't be enough to deal with the Shermanators on their own. Like, unless they're on the sides and flanking us. Let's get the machine gun teams turning. You can see just the sheer amount of firepower we have here is pretty brutal. Yeah, if we can actually hit him. Jeez, come on. All right, let's chase, let's chase. Nice, nice, good turn right there. But his guys are probably going to get pushed back. Yeah, we're trying to trying to flamethrower him. Okay, get the tanks here. I got to get, like, these... I'm used to the light tanks, which are just... So maneuverable, but these ones are, uh, it's, it's a different beast. All right, let's, let's set you up here, set you up like here. We got the snipers, we got machine gun teams, and uh, let's start picking some of these guys off. Oh, unfortunately, he was waiting there for us. And uh, cool. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna shut down the middle. But yeah, you can see how badly this is going for him. These tanks are just gonna obliterate them. That, like, smoke, that smoke play of his is really cool, though. Oh, the big firepower, the concave, baby. Okay, we need more um, engineers. Let's get a couple just to repair our tanks. Okay, he gets on top of the machine gun. Sniper might die here, but I think we're okay. Um, we can go ahead and like try and steal his fuel or something. Ooh! Nasty, nasty. And let's get the machine guns up here to help. Oh my goodness, these tanks are dunking on people. All right. So fires it indirect at the shell, fires indirect time. Uh, all right, let's do that. I don't know what that does, but we're gonna find out. So let's fire some incendiary rounds. Jeez, look at these Sherman tanks just hammering this building. Oh my goodness. Brutal. Okay, he's got the bazooka squads. And do we have any more of those like sweet incendiary shells? Let's see how they do. Oh, look at that. They shoot those like shells there, yeah. We could just straight up like get up on these guys right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, come on, those are like... As chat as those bazooka men have been this game, that's uh, that's a little too much. The Shermanators are, are here, and they're not taking no for an answer. All right, so that point is ours. We got that. We're going to be able to get the middle as well, probably. So let's move up. We're also stealing one of his back points. And uh, yeah, there's nothing else we could really do with that. I should have been using Seek and Destroy more. Um, I'll try and use it one more time before the game's over. Okay, so let's do a timing grenade. No, he's not going to run that way. Okay. So the Shermans, let's do Seek and Destroy one last time in the deep. All right, so this increases the... Speed and accuracy. Oh, here it comes. Oh, come on. Put the hurt on him. Oh, look at that. And the, the airstrike's coming in from him in the fourth quarter. Oh, that was, that was pretty metal. All right. Let's set up the team. Get the snipers shooting as well. Back you up. Okay. I don't know what this, this vehicle's trying to do here. But yeah, we got machine guns putting some serious DACA down. But those those strafing runs, like I'm I'm in the kill zone right now. Okay, maybe we should back out of this with some of the guys at least. I don't want to let him get the objectives easy. Looks like here we should be able to force him down. So let's get the tank up on the point. He's having to throw a lot at these points, right? So we backed away our Sherman tanks because I don't want to get killed by his airstrikes. That would be really noob, noob for sure. All right, so do we have any engineers that can repair this one? We do. This tank's here. We're for sure going to get this objective. And uh, this Sherman tank can just kind of sit. Yeah, those, um, those Overwatch areas are really nasty. It's not making any place for the bottom, though. That's for damn sure. And uh, what else do we want to get? We can get some upgrades. So, globally upgrades all Shermans with 76 millimeter guns. Okay, sounds good. I do have two of those, so that should be nice. We got the territory captured. Points are back online, and it looks like there is going to be some pressure coming in from the north. He's relentless with these. Like, I feel like he's taking such heavy casualties, but he's still able to kind of, kind of shine a little bit here. All right, let's get in cover. Machine guns. Let's go ahead and blast him if we can. They're taking a lot of damage at close quarters. Let's get you back and uh, get this tank to shoot them as well. All right, so that's been... Uh, he's being repaired at the moment. Looking good. And I think that's GG. GG well played. Oh, what a fierce fight, dude. The, the German infantry rush. It's very frenetic. Like, look how much more damage we dealt. But he... Um, well, again, that's bugged, actually. Somebody said that was bugged, but... Yeah. He did have a couple vehicles, I guess. Yeah, he had a tank, but we pounded it pretty hard. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I don't really play armor much. I usually like to play um, airborne, but 
yeah, it seems fun. I, definitely a different style. I feel like I, I miss my airstrikes and yeah, I mean, having that big firepower and then in the end game, the American Shermans are really strong because you have the the faster build time, the reduced build cost, as well as a lower supply. So your army is just straight up bigger than your opponents. Um, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let's look at the unit efficiency. Can we actually see? So rifles are just so good. Rifles are always good. Um, Sniper was great too. He, he did good. He was able to get a lot of picks. And looking at the tanks here, oh, the Sherman Bulldozer. Jeez, look at that beast. He did some work. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you back next time. Take care.